Hi, it's Kelly here. And you are probably here because you know about electroculture. You've seen lots of pictures and lots of videos showing how fantastic it is. And, and it's like more and more and more people are showing the results as, as the summer goes on. It's amazing. I'm going to show you how to make it 10 times as amazing. No, make that a thousand times more amazing for you. I call it electroculture point 2.0. And I'm going to show you, uh, I'm going to actually do a little demo right here with this here to show you exactly how you, how you get started. So are you ready? Good, because I'm ready. All right, so the first thing you do is you get your copper wire, and it depends on what the copper wire, how thick you want it to be. You know, th thicker is stronger, uh, but thinner is easier to work with. This is an 18 gauge. The higher the gauge, the thinner it is. So like a 6 gauge would be much thicker. It's harder to work with with your hands. So you have to decide what you want to do. However, we will learn in a moment how speed is much more important than that, than that a hundred times more important. So anyway, I took some copper wire, cut it off, you know, the amount that I wanted, and I stuck the loops end into here and that, that's easier than sticking the loose end because, you know, when you fold fold your copper wire in half, if I didn't mention that, you can fold the copper wire in half, this end is not, this end is not going to be even, so it would be a lot harder to get it right in, in, your, in your power drill. The looped end is, the, is easier to put in there and you just tighten it up so it holds it really strongly. So you got the one end in there and then you've got your pliers, my, my other pliers broke, okay, they kind of got loose and broke, so I've got this other pliers, which is not so great, but in any case, what I've done is I grabbed the other end, holding it firmly, tightly, and then I'm going to take the, this power drill, and I'm going to squeeze the trigger, and it's going to, as you can see, it's gradually, see like on this, si on this side, you can see it's getting a tight, weave on the other side not so much so you just keep doing that until the tight weave gets to the end isn't that cool so and when it starts to double over like that that's too far so let's see if i can unwind that that'll be a good test i guess not but anyway that's all right so you did better than me don't go too far if i had my glasses on i would have done better so there you go. So now you've got what I call braided. Braided, of course, is not technically the right word, but uh, you know it's it's wound up. It's, it's wound up. So now I can release it there, and I can take it out of here. I'm going to hold it down here in my lap while I loosen it. And there you have a braided wire. Now why why do you want to have it have it? Uh, curl or, or, or braided like that because when you have a piece of wire that is not twisted the energy is going just from one end to the other all in one direction it's not a lot of energy all right but when you br when you braid it like this you've first of all you've doubled over the wire right there we've, we've I folded the wire before starting the video so now you've got the energy going this way on the one side, and then where it's on the other end, it's going back the other way. So, and these are ions, right? And they're charged. So when you you got on the bottom here, you've got charged, you know, and then here on the top you got charged, and they're fighting each other, so they're wanting to bounce away from each other. And that's fantastic, because the more they bounce away, the more fractal frequencies. Fractal, fractal means fractional. It means different size frequencies, different heights, different widths, all that. And that's what you love. That's that's the best. Like music, beautiful music has it's full of fractal frequencies. That's and that's what tickles your ear. All right. So, so that's what that's what we have here, is is the uh, the braiding. See. Oh, no, excuse me, that's just by folding it over. And then when you wind it like I did, now that the stuff is, the copper is intertwined 
So it's bumping into each other continuously along the whole route, and those electrons are just flying all over the place. So now you've, you have really, really turned a simple, humble piece of copper wire into a healing tool because you're creating all these beautiful frequencies. All right? So now the next step is, as you've seen in electroculture, people uh, they coil it, right? And why coil? Because a coiled wire also adds to the, uh, the increase in the function of the copper. And I don't know why that's the case, but that just is. That's what the engineers have found out that a coil wire gives you more juice somehow. So now you've got the coil wire giving you more juice and the braiding giving you more juice. So you really turn this into a powerful, powerful thing. This, this little funky looking piece of wire, right? That you would throw in the trash if you saw it in your yard, right? But if this is a magnificent healing tool. Magnificent. Now, we're not done yet. Because as you've seen, the people who are doing uh, electroculture, they have it like this, you know, wrapped up going around. And you can use a broom handle. I'm going to use my cane simply because uh, it's easier to, you know, this closed space to uh, work with. And I've never actually done this before, so I hope you can bear with me. But see, i got my cane here. I'm going to try to hold one end still, and um, and then I'm going to take the wire, and then I'm going to wrap it around. And you might have seen videos of people doing this, and this is coiled. So one is braided. I call it braided. It's twisted. It's uh, you know bent, whatever. And then of course people leave a little bit of an end, a straight end on the end, and you can stick that in the ground, right? Now, let's see if I can get this off. That would be interesting. <laughs> oh, this is going to be harder to get it off than just put it on, right? So particularly since it's got this, this nubbin on, on here. Um, hopefully it will have cell memory. It will it'll, uh, do, maybe not. Anyway, so maybe a broom handle is better because you could just slide it right off. So you're lear we're both learning here at the same time. Ouch. So we're going to take this off, and uh, we have some semblance of it here, not the greatest, but we have a semblance of it here. And so if you had a, per a, a more perfect coil, then you could slip a piece of wood in there, and the wood can be any length. The purpose of the wood is twofold. One is it's an insulator that smooths out the energies of these frequencies that come out. Like a radio, you know. you. You, know, you tune in a radio to a radio station, and if it's not in tune, it sort of you get kind of staticky. Well, well, the the uh, insulator in there helps make it smooth out, enables you to give us a much smoother sound coming out. So that's really really good. And um, so the other thing you can do with a piece of wood uh, is. You, you can get little quartz crystals, and generally those are going to be smaller than the piece of wood that you have. So you would put them on top, and depending on how tightly wound you have this, uh, it could just sit in there, you know, without any problem. And when you have a crystal, uh, you have a quartz crystal, and you have wood, and you have copper, you have enough there to make a radio. So what does a radio do? It receives the information, right? Yes, it does. So the, the reason the quartz crystal works is that when there's pressure on it, it, just like when you walk on sand on the beach, it turns that quartz crystal's energy that sparks all different directions, it lines it up somehow. That's just a property of quartz crystal. They call it piezo or piezo electricity, which means pressurized, or electricity generated from pressure on the crystal. Um, and that's really cool. And that's what they use in cigarette lighters. They put a little crystal dust in there, and the pressure of a flicking that, that thing gets the spark to go in one direction. And so by doing that spark and getting it to go, you're giving more power to this. Now I want to talk to you about something really cool, what you can do with this now 
to really multiply this a bazillion times. And you don't have to have it coiled to do this, but you could. Um, you, if you have a ceiling fan, you could take the ceiling fan and attach one of these to each blade of the ceiling fan. And you could take the curled end, you know, where the looped end is, and maybe put a piece of thread in there, or a piece of string or something, and then take that onto the ceiling fan. So this doesn't have to be very long at all. It could be half this length, you know, or less. It does not have to be coiled, but it could be coiled. That would be, you know, that's good. If you, know, if you want to do that, I would do that. So you put that on the ceiling fan, and you just make sure that each strip of, of copper that you've used is the same length, because you want the same weight on all the blades. Uh, tape it on the end so it's the same distance from the center of the of the of the fan and then you turn it on and you turn it on high if you're not in the room if you're in your bedroom and you're sleeping at night maybe you want to put it on low but this thing will now will go around and around and around like that that is a bazillion times stronger than a stationary piece of copper, regardless of how you braid it or whatever you do to it, that is going to be so much stronger, creating fractal energies for you. It will go outside your house, it will go down the street. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. And as an, uh, not an analogy, but an example, is the Hoover Dam. What's the Hoover Dam? Hoover Dam runs on a mere 17 turbines that are coiled or are co copper that spins. And it turns a non-electrical river into enough electricity to support the lifestyles of 40 million people in three different states. So, you know, it's, it's immeasurable how to, you know, how do you say, how do you explain that? It gets to a point where we can't even grasp how much energy that is. So, if you don't have a ceiling fan, I would offer you two options. Uh, one is go to the store and buy one and put it in. Because this thing's spinning, it might cost you, I don't know what they cost, $150, $250 fan, I don't know. Get it up there, whatever, and it will be worth more than $100,000 worth of health insurance because it will protect you from illness in an amazing way. Amazing way. So it's worth it to put ceiling fans where you are. Now if you're up north, you know, um, you can, you may not use it, so you t have it running in the rooms that you're not in. All right? Or, you know, it, in the summertime you could still use it. Um, on low rather than using electricity, using air conditioning, if you have that, depending how far north you are. Um, so those are options there. But the other option is what are, what are called solar powered hangers. And you can get them from Amazon and I'm sure lots of other places, maybe in, you know, maybe at Walmart, I don't know, or the garden, you know, the, the garden centers or whatever. And they operate on sunlight and you can hang these babies up on them and get them, you know, make it as, measure it just so it's as long as you want, you know, including the coil in there, and let it rotate. It'll only it'll rotate at 50 uh, RPMs, which is not as much as your ceiling fan, but it's still fantastic. And you can get as many of them as you want. So anytime there's any sunlight, you are putting this energy out there. And you can put them out in your, you know, if you've got a farm, you can put one at one end and one at the other end or one in the, and maybe one in the middle, whatever the stuff going around. So that, you know, you if you're a farmer and you're going, how am I going to do this? You know, I can't be plugging these things in every three feet and then trying to run my tractors through there. That would be a disaster. So you put these on the edge of the farm, around the edge, you know, and let them run and it'll be fantastic for your garden. You know, if you have a, a, a large garden, one of these would be plenty. Plenty. But if you want to save the world, 
get a half a dozen and do it. Set them up around and we'll turn this world into a bunch of gardens of Eden. You know, God made the Garden of Eden once before. And he, he, if we show that we got the right attitude, he'll do it again. And he'll not only have one, but he'll have them all over the place. All over the place. And if you want to know more about the, the kinds of things I'm talking about, or, or learn more just in general about, about these energies we're talking about, you can get my book here. Uh, is there a question that heals instantly? There's three or four chapters that talk about different aspects of it. Um, I also wrote this book, The Doctor Who Cures Cancer. That's the book in, in Russian. I was the founder of Sinus Magic. These are whirling bliss machines, early versions of them that I, I was not able to sell after I started selling them because of a patent issue. Uh, so we're kind of, you know, anyway, that's just about me. And, uh, oh, this here, this silly looking thing, what do they call them, spinners, uh, you put them outside, uh, you know, I use it because I was having a problem with it. My car parked under a tree and the birds were, you know, over overhead and they were messing up my car. So I put that out by the, by the car and just a little bit of breeze and they stopped bothering the car. So if you, if you have that issue, these brightly shine, shining colored, uh, I call them, not whirly gigs, I, I keep, not spinners, you know what they're called. Anyway, so that's great. So I, I like things that spin. Um, and uh, see, anything else? Um, oh, and you can, the last thing I will leave with you, maybe just check out my other videos uh, and you'll see how we use, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll lift it up here, I'm not even gonna turn it off or anything, but this is, this is hardcore electroculture 2.0 right here, right here, right here. And it has the advantage of you don't have to look at my face. So that's another plus that we have with this thing right here. And uh, they, this is, this energy goes around the world. Around the world. And let's see if I can set this down properly. All right, so check out my other videos. And uh, I, oh, and thank you, those of you who have blessed me with, with gifts so that I can continue going to the chiropractor. For the first time last night when I felt my neck, uh, there, wasn't, there wasn't a knot right there. So it really is helping. And, um, and, and also on my leg, it's also helping with, with my leg. It's not burning as much. So thank you, thank you, thank you. You really are making a difference in this world. God bless you. And let's all live in the Garden of Eden. Thank you.